So in this video, we will learn how to import create WordPress users from Google Sheets in real time. So imagine this, you are running a content writing team and you have the database of content writers on your Google Sheets. So the idea is that you want to add them as an author or as a user on your WordPress website so that they can enrich the website with their content. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of the content writers, sort them out and create them as a user individually in WordPress. Now this process is actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new data is added in bulk in Google Sheet, automatically create a user in WordPress. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Google Sheets and WordPress. The best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and it has been titled Users in WordPress. So basically, these are the details of the content writers I have, I actually know. So basically what happens is we have the username, we have the first name, we have the last name, the email and password. So there are around nine of them. It doesn't matter how many are there. So for example, we have the first name as Hashi, then the last name as Elon. Then this is the email of the content writer. And this is basically the password. Now the idea is that this person and the rest of them will be added as an author in WordPress. It doesn't matter. It can be the administrator or the editor or a subscriber in WordPress. But I'm personally feeling that they should be added as an author in WordPress. Okay, so basically I have rigged a specific time that these people will be added as a user in WordPress. So let me just straight away take you to WordPress. Okay, so let me just refresh this. Okay, so so as you can see, we have the first person. Okay, so this is the first person who has been added as an author. So as you can see, this is the page for the authors. So this is the person that is Hashi Elon and the, we have the username and this is the email and this person has been assigned as a role. He has been assigned as an author. So basically this is the gist. So your obvious question is what about the rest of them? Give it some time. The rest of the authors. Okay. So basically the rest of the data, these people will be added as an author eventually. So let me just refresh this and I will show you. Okay, so as you can see, after refreshing it, we have got all the authors, the newly added authors. So basically, these are all the same person. For example, we have Hashi. So let's have a look. Do we have a person called as Hashi? Yes, we do have a person called as Hashi. And then we have Koi. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Koi, Koi, Koi. So Koi, yeah, Koi Biden. Yes. And then we have uh, Harvest. Let's look at the last person that is Harvest. So Harvest has been added. Yes, Harvest Aksar. So basically all the people that has been added in our Google Sheet is now added as an author in WordPress. So basically this is the gist. You have a bunch of people in Google Sheet and you want to add them as a user. Doesn't matter if he's an author, administrator, editor or a subscriber. They will be added with the assigned roles in WordPress. Now to begin the actual integration process in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Google Sheets and WordPress. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so before I create a new workflow to integrate the users in WordPress, users in Google Sheet and WordPress, there is something I have to do. So let me just scroll down. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch off this workflow. As you can see, I have already integrated Google Sheets and WordPress. Now, the reason I'm switching off this workflow is if I don't switch off this workflow and if I create a new workflow, there will be two workflows running for the same result. So basically, we will have two people with the same details in WordPress. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. It's pretty obvious. Okay, so we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so how about we give a name to this workflow? How about Google Sheets? 
bulk user to WordPress. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. Let me just click on create. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rig at a particular time that the users will be added into WordPress. Okay, so I'm just going to schedule a time. So that is why I'm going to schedule. I'm going to choose the app as schedule. Okay, schedule by Pabli. So the idea is that I'm going to select a particular time. In that particular time, the people that are the people who are present in my uh, Google Sheet will be added as an author or a subscriber or as a user in WordPress. Now we have to fix a run scenario. Now remember this: we only have to do it only once okay so it will be pretty much just stupid if we do it every day or at regular intervals we have to do it only once now we have to select a time now as you can see it is mentioning the time and it is actually showing the date now there is something remarkable about this date this is in utc format okay so basically we have to mention the date in utc format so your obvious question is what is utc format utc basically means universal coordinated time so for example, I am from India and we follow the Indian standard time. Okay. And if you're from London, you will be following the London standard time. So the problem is the Indian standard time and the London standard time are very different. That is why to avoid this, we have a standard time that is a perfect standard time that is the universal coordinated time. Okay. So let me just show you. So at present, the time here is let me just refresh this and let me just show you the time it's 3 a.m okay so it's basically 3 a.m here and uh, the respective uh, utc time for it is 9 30 p.m okay so the idea is that i want to send the data at let's say 4 a.m okay in one hour we will be sending all the data to wordpress to create a user so the respected utc time is 10 30 p.m so what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking back to public connect and I'm going to change the UTC. Okay. So that is 2230. So it basically means in the Indian standard time, that is 4 PM, 4 AM, it will be sending the data. So let me just uh, click on save. Okay. So basically we have worked with time. Now we have to work with data. So for your consideration, I have created a new Google sheet. We have the username, the first name, the last name, the email and the password. Basically the same details we had here. But we have different details. Okay, we have the first name as Bill, the last name as Gutenberg. So basically this is the first guy that is Bill Gutenberg. And then we have Hoegiden, then we have Hanita and their respective emails. The last person is Carvis and the last name is Aksar and this is the, his email. Okay, so basically we have to send all this data to Public Connect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce one action window. Now in the choose app, how would we make it as Google Sheets? Because we want to get all the data from Google Sheets. Now in the action event, how about we make it as get row? Okay, so get row is an action event. We do have a ton of action event, but at present we are only interested in get row. Okay, so what's the purpose of get row? So first of all, let me just click on connect. In the new connection name, let me just click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so see, these are the series of Gmail accounts I have. And in this particular uh, Gmail account, we have this particular Google Sheet. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now it is asking me to confirm my choice. So before I click on allow, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Authorization is successful, just press OK. So as you can see, by default, it is showing the spreadsheet as new author in WordPress. Okay, so this is the name of the uh, sheet from which the data should flow that is new authors in WordPress. So I'm just by default clicking it and we have to select the range. So the range is basically this. I'm just going to click here to here. So basically, this is the range. You want to send all this data from this particular cell to this particular cell. So the range is A2 to E10. Okay, so as you can see, the cell name is E10 and this cell name is A2. So this is our range. I'm just going to copy this and here I'm going to paste it. Okay, so we are ready. All we have to do is just click on save and send test request to get all the data from our Google Sheet. Let me do that. 
okay so as you can see we have all the details so as you can see we have the person's name that is bill gutenberg and this is the username of bill gutenberg so this is the username this is the first name this is the last name okay bill gutenberg and this is the email and this is of course the password and then we have the second username that is uh, this okay seriously people really get uh, give really weird names and this is the first name that is hoi okay so this is the second guy that is hoi and then we have kitten okay hoi kitten and then we have the third person that is hanita so let's see we have a hanita yes and then we have ames hanita ames and this is her email kanita james123 at the rate gmail.com something okay so let's have a look do we have the last person that is carvis so let's let me just uh, scroll down yes we do have a person that is carvis so basically we have got all this detail now there is something you should know now uh, basically we are going to create a prototype so the prototype will be with this address okay so basically we will be working with the first person and the same details will be followed by the other so that is why we have to individually sort out this person's address all those details okay so what we are going to do here is we are going to bring in the iterator so what's the purpose of the iterator now before i deal with the iterator there is something else i have to do so as you can see we have all this data now the end purpose is basically we have to sort out one person's data so that we can work out the workflow on him okay so basically we are going to create a prototype now the idea is that I'm going to create a prototype with the first person that is Bill Gutenberg. So we just want the data of Bill Gutenberg only, only the data of Bill Gutenberg. But unfortunately we have the whole data, okay, the whole people's data. So what we're going to do here is first of all, I'm just going to uh, toggle this to the left. Okay. And once again, I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay. So as you can see, we have a condensed form of data now. All this data that is Bill, Hoi, Hanita, all of them is in form of an array. So out of this array, we are going to select only this particular data. This can be done with the help of the iterator. So Bill Gutenberg is our first iteration. The second iteration is Hoi. The third iteration is Hanita. This will continue up to the last person that is Carvis. Let me introduce iterator. Click here. And in the choose tab, let me add iterator. Iterator by Pabli. Okay, all we have to do is it has already chosen the array. Okay, so basically this is the array. It has already chosen. We don't have to do anything. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have the details. Okay, so this is all the details we have. Excellent. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to select or sort out each detail of bill. Okay, for example, we again have the contents data. We have the whole row Okay, let me just show you the whole row. Basically, we have this whole row. Okay, but what if I just want the first name, the last name, the email and the password individually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to introduce JSON extractor. So let me just add JSON. JSON extractor it is. Now in the action event, let me just click on extract JSON data. Click on connect. Okay, so basically we have to map the data. So the data is something you will get from the third accordion. Click here and just map this detail here. Okay. So basically we have mapped this particular detail here. Easy. Now when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch each of these data individually. Let me show you. Okay. So as you can see, we have the individual username, the individual first name, the individual last name, the individual email and the individual password. So basically using all these details, we are going to create a user in WordPress. Okay, so to do that, let me introduce one more action window. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as WordPress? WordPress it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a user, this one. And let me just click on connect. Okay, so we have to enter three fields. Okay, so basically this is the username, the WordPress password and the base URL. Now, before we do that, there is something you should know. There is a plugin that you have to install. The name of the plugin is WP API Basic Authentication. You basically copy this plugin, basically copy this uh, little detail here, from here, and just basically map into our uh, plugin section. And if you don't have it, just install it. Okay. So let me just enter my username. So this is the username with which I have logged in. And this is the password. 
okay now coming to the most important part the base url so basically this is your base url i'm just going to copy this up to here i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here easy and let me just click on save so when you click on save a set of fields has appeared in front of you the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to create a user in wordpress from the data that we have received from google sheets via public connect so we have the email let's start mapping so we have the email and i have to go to the fourth accordion i'm clicking here and this is the email and i have mapped it easy okay now coming to the username so fourth accordion and this is the username and we have mapped it now coming to the password okay so this is the password associated password and we have mapped it the first name the first name is bill i have mapped it and again we have mapped it the last name okay so we have uh, practically filled all the details sufficient enough to create uh, a user in uh, wordpress so first i am going to describe a role so how about how about uh, we don't have editors okay so i'm just planning to make them as editors now uh, if you want you can actually change it as a author but i prefer the editor because there are only four editors so i'm just going to assign the role as editor let me just click on save and send test request to create our newly created editor that is the fifth editor that is uh, we only have four editors so this newly created editor bill will be our fifth editor and uh, when so your obvious question is what about the rest well as i mentioned before earlier we have uh, rigged the scheduler to start working at 4 30 i think it was 4 30 let me just uh, see when it was scheduled for okay so basically it is for 4 a.m okay so let us check yeah 4 a.m that is 10 30 p.m okay so basically right now it is around uh, 3 a.m so at 4 a.m 4 a.m it will rigged the scheduler will get rigged and uh, the users will be added in wordpress so let me just uh, straight away take you to uh, editors let me just refresh this so we can expect to find a newly created editor so as you can see we have editor five editors now so let me just uh, have a look there must be an editor called as bill okay so yeah we have editor called as bill gutenberg okay so now again i'm going to repeat again what's going to happen next now at uh, 4 a.m okay now at 4 a.m since the scheduler is uh, scheduled or rigged to uh, perform at uh, 4 a.m the 4 a.m we will have uh, eight more editors okay at present we have five of them at uh, 4 a.m we will have 13 uh, eight more so total there will be eight uh, 13 of them okay so basically this was the whole process now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism so that is why i'm just going to minimize all my trigger windows as well as the action windows okay so i have minimized it okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you made sure that you have scheduled the event i have scheduled the event at 4 a.m okay and then you have extracted all the data from google sheet then you have run the iterator so that you can sort out one person's data individually the iteration will run up to the last person then we have uh, used the json extractor the purpose of the json extractor was we want individual data of a particular row so and then at the last we have uh, integrated wordpress to public connect so as to create a user so now there's a perfect flow of data between google sheets and wordpress excellent